In this video, we're going to talk about acidity, pKa values, and Ka values. So let's start with our first example. Let's start with propanoic acid, and let's compare it to formic acid. <coughs> so the pKa value of propanoic acid is going to be 4.87 and for formic acid is 3.75. Now what you need to understand is that as the pKa value increases, the acid the acid strength is going to decrease. So if you want to find the stronger acid, you're going to have to find the one with the lower pKa value, which would be formic acid since 3.75 is lower than 4.87. Now let's compare propanol to ethanol. And the pKa of propanol is 16.1 and for ethanol is going to be 15.9. So which one is the more acidic one? Well, the more acidic one is just going to be ethanol. Barely more acidic because it's only 0.2 lower pKa. Now let's compare hydrofluoric acid with the sulfur. Okay. Now let's look at Ka values. So for the one with fluorine, it's going to be three points, six point three times ten to the negative fourth. And for the one with sulfur, it's going to be one times ten to the negative seventh. Now what you need to understand is that pKa, as it went up, the acid strength went down but for Ka right as Ka goes up the acid strength is going to go up with it so it's a direct relationship between acid strength and Ka and an inverse between pKa and acid strength so the stronger one in this case <coughs> is hydrofluoric acid since 10 to the negative seventh is significantly smaller than 10 to the negative fourth For our last example, let's look at uh, hydrogen and bromine and hydrogen and chlorine. The Ka of the one with bromine is going to be 1 times 10 to the 9th. And then for chlorine, it's going to be 1.3 times 10 to the 6th. So the one that's going to be more acidic here is obviously going to be the one with the bromide. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.